Hey guys, what's up? Noi here. Thanks for watching. In this video, we're going to be talking about anatomy and its importance when it comes to character design. With that said, let's go. Alright guys, here we are. I'm just going to draw and talk like I normally do. Um, if you were to ask me what the most important thing... Um, as far as I'm concerned, when you're starting out and you want to kind of learn concept art or become a comic book artist or just um, a character designer, just general, you know, be in the field of creating games and comic books or anime and stuff like that, I would always say you have to start with anatomy. And that's what I'm going to be doing here. Um, no set, well, I have a lot of rules actually. It's, we're not going to get into um, any specifics. I'm just going to kind of outline the most important muscle groups that, that I use, that I use all the time that kind of get me through a drawing and uh, I know that it's pretty intimidating um, when it comes to anatomy and a lot of people don't like drawing it because there's just so many things and it's it's very complicated how they link up and everything like that it's hard to kind of digest all of that so I'm just gonna kind of draw and walk you through the processes that I kind of go through um, the way I see it is anatomy is like a puzzle right they kind of all fit together um, one by one it's not like you can create something here and here and here and kind of have it all match in the middle I know some people that I can actually do that. Um, they're probably geniuses, but I can't do that. I have to start from the top and I have to work my way all the way down like a puzzle. So with that said, let me start recording and walk you through it. So how I normally start is I'll, I'll pull out pretty far because I want to get a general uh, form of it. Um, you know, by doing this, you can capture proportions more correctly. So, and you don't want to focus on any detail, so I would always suggest pulling out instead of, you know, kind of cropping in and, and working on small details. I know that a lot of you guys do that. A lot of amateurs do that um, right off the bat, and even professionals, because they want to, you know, start detailing right away because that's the fun stuff. But I'm a strong believer in uh, getting the feel of the character right the first time. Uh, we're not going to be creating the character, but... We're just going to be creating the um, the armature of the uh, the character, the the base of character design, uh, which is anatomy and how it all links together. So, what I usually start out with is simple. It's a neck, um, followed by something like this, which is a collarbone. Yeah, I know it's kind of basic right now, but it'll all make sense later on. It kind of looks like a happy face actually when I look at it, like a silly happy face. So from this point on, I would draw the line that kind of goes down the middle of the body. Um, maybe I'm pulled out too much. Here. Zoom in a bit. Yeah, it's better. So it just looks pretty rough right now. Um, from this point on, I would draw the bottom of the pecs. Looks something like this. And right in the middle, I would draw a diamond shape. And I'll explain that uh, later. We'll get to that. So where the neck joins the, uh, or meets up with the collarbone here, it doesn't really meet up, it just kind of hovers above. Um, there are these muscles in the back called traps, right? Um, what you want to do is, and it's behind the neck, but it kind of creeps up towards the front as well. So take that and do this kind of thing. And that'll be that. So from that point on, I like to start, I like to draw the, the shoulders. And keep in mind, the shoulders is actually three muscle groups. One in the front, middle, and back. Um, there's probably more, but those are the three that are visible. So with that, keep in mind that the front, um, the front shoulder muscle overlaps the pec pectoral muscles. So I'll just draw it in there like that. So it's something like that, right? I'll go ahead and do the other side as well. Um, and then up next is the center one, which does something like this, and it's a bit longer than the front one. And then there's the back, which is actually behind the traps. For this side, I'm just going to half-ass it and do something like that. Uh, from this point on, I would draw the biceps. It goes like this. I like to draw it behind the pecs. I think it looks right there. We'll do that. And then there's a muscle. This this one right here, just in just in between the, the tricep and the bicep. 
So you want to do that. And then we have the tricep behind it. Um, going from that, we have tendons just below the bicep. And then the forearm muscle kind of trickles off from this uh, tricep here. And then we have an interior kind of forearm muscle that does this kind of thing. And um, I don't know how accurate this is, but I usually do this and it looks all right. From, from these tendons here, I'll just draw a line that goes straight there, a very faint one, straight into the wrist. And um, I'm not going to get into hands because hands is like a completely different story on its own. It's very complicated. I'll save that for another video, but to set it up, at the end of the forearm, what you want to do is you want to draw what's, what looks like bones. Essentially those two joints right there. And the reason why is because a lot of people, I keep seeing it over and over again, have a, have a really difficult time connecting the forearm to the hand. And it's because they're not drawing that bone in there. It just kind of looks like it kind of goes right right from the forearm right into the hand. Like, like a stumpy thing and it just looks really weird like this. Rob Liefeld is like <laughs> notorious for drawing hands like this and that's why it's because he's not drawing the the bones the wrist bones so I would draw that in there I will leave that for now we might revisit that later on um, from this point on the reason why I drew this um this diamond here if you remember is because that is actually the bottom of that the bottom tip of that triangle we're gonna use to start the rib cage goes like that and we'll just draw it in there roughly looks something like this um, so yeah there's that and then uh, from there I would move on to the abs which is one two belly button three and a little bit which is the crotch which I've drawn there already and as you can see the reason why I drew that line down the middle is it establishes the uh, the, posi the pose of the character um, for women, I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do a female character here later on, and this line down the middle is gonna be a bit different because the the way heroes, um, especially when they're dudes, um, stand is you know they they create they have that powerful stance with where their pelvic um, is thrusted outwards, and it just makes it look more powerful. For women, not so much. You don't want that. Um, from this point on, I would just draw the abs very loosely, just where it would be. And from here, I do something very interesting. Um, take the middle part of this pec, draw a line down there like this, equal distance. And we all have these muscles on the side that go like this, that interlock. That's what I'm going to be drawing here. So I would do one, two, three. And then where, where that line is, I would draw one, two, three, another three down like that. And I know that it's not anatomically perfect but it's an it's enough it gets you there so it, it, it looks convincing enough to me um, from that point on we have lats that go like this pretty easy right it's just a muscle in the back and is another thing that I do that a lot of people forget as well and I think it's very important it's the um, I don't know what they call it the side obliques or the ab muscle on the side here everybody has them it kinda just goes like this if you know what I mean on the sides it goes like that and just below here that's where the hip muscle would be or the hip hip muscle the hip bone would be um, so we have that that's the upper body right so it's all kinda there already there's just space there just picture like underwear or something like that and this is the start of the leg and this is I have huge issues with drawing legs I don't know why but it's just very difficult for me probably because I don't draw it enough actually I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up this arm back here same process as here bicep tendons um, forearm muscle outside inside is hidden back here somewhere and wrist wrist bone alright this shoulders jetting out too much but you know what can finesse later, right? All right, so I'd actually pull out a bit more because I hate drawing legs. I don't know what it is. I just can't stand it.
for legs I kind of cheat a bit I just like to kind of break the rules and and kind of do this kind of this sort of thing here where I will eyeball it to make sure it looks right And I, I like to super exaggerate the legs because uh, I'm just not good at, at drawing legs and making them look good. So I will um, I will exaggerate it. Right now it looks like he has a drop crotch, but I'll fix that um, when I get into detailing it better. This just happens to work really well for me. And again, at the end, draw these bones. Looks like a horse, I know. Very strange. Okay. So let's correct this. The upper quad muscle is not that long, so I'm going to do this. Bring up the knees. Bring up the crotch. I'm already starting to distort. I didn't want to distort um, in this lesson, but that's for another one, I think. I don't want to get into that right now. Let's draw this a bit lower. And for the feet, I'm not good at drawing feet, so what I like to do is um, I just like to draw the tips of the feet and the heel and that's good enough for now the reason why I do this is because it it, it um, frees you from having to detail things too much and when that happens you spend too much time on it and then you make mistakes that's what I find anyway so that's that and I'll just go in and if I feel that the character's starting to look a bit too thick I will trim it down a bit, just work like this, just slowly work around it. But that's how I build up um, a form using anatomy. And for this, let's just rough in uh, a hand, just because it's bothering me that he doesn't have any hands. So it's going to be like a fist. It's going to be kind of turned in like this. Okay, that looks it looks totally weird but you know and um okay let's go back to the legs so the legs leg muscles are built up of four major um muscles on the on the quads so we have the adductor which is this in here and then we have three large muscles out here this being the largest one and then this one here that falls below right into the kneecap and then we have another one that's out here like this. Um, and we have the knees that go right into the shin. And then the calf muscle. This one here is dropping a bit low. Because the inner calf is actually a bit, is um, not a bit, a lot higher than the outer ones. I would do something like this. So there we have it. There's the male figure. That's how I would go about constructing the male figure um, with anatomy. It's like a puzzle. See what I mean? I'll, um, I'll start from the top here and I'll work my way down. Pecs, shoulders, bicep, tricep. And there's only like how many? Let me see. The neck isn't a muscle, but I, I'll count that anyway. Neck. Uh, neck, traps, shoulders, triceps, biceps, forearms, you know, abs, back muscle. There's a glute back here somewhere. Um, quads and calves. So that's not too many things to remember, right? And I wouldn't even bother with like trying to learn back muscles because it's very rare that you're gonna ever draw them. And if you ever do, if um, your boss says you have to draw the back muscles of something, just get some research you know do some research and get some reference online it's it's pretty easy stuff but if you know this and and the uh, the muscle groups that I just named you can get away with like 99% um, you know of your character design it will look just just fine so it's important to know anatomy even even though you're gonna be drawing clothing on top because when you're drawing clothing on top if you could imagine this guy you you would have to um, be able to drape him properly right so if he had like a cape or something like that, it would have to be able to sit on his muscles properly. 
and that's why it's important. Um, in the end, this character may be completely clothed, but you'll have a very strong kind of armature to work from. That's why it's important. So, for the female character, like I was saying before, it works the same way. Neck, collarbone, uh, the only difference is really shoulder width, the uh, the hip, the bottom the bottom part with the the hip and the bottom the upper torso is smaller, shorter than the uh, the male's figure. So I would keep that in mind. So where the um, when I was drawing the male figure, I went with this kind of um, pose, right? Actually, not even this exaggerated, but I went with the, this kind of thing. But for the female. Cause I don't want to, uh, you know, not to over-sexualize females or anything like that, but it's more sensual, the body, right? So you have to be cognizant of that. So, I mean, with that said, it's more of a, let's go with something like this. And I, it's a softer line than when I was drawing um, with the male figure. But the principles are the same. You know, neck, uh, traps. And for the pecs, I'm going to draw just like how I drew, the, uh, drew it with the male. Because underneath we're all the same, just minor details which we'll fix um, and implement later on. And the shoulders, same thing. Front, uh, deltoid, middle, and then back. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I already showed you how to do it there, or how I do it there. Um, let's make this arm come out like this. Bicep. I don't know what the hell she's doing. But bicep, tricep, forearm, bones, right? Um, let's see here. It's kind of getting all wonky already. Okay, let's stick with this. We'll try to fix it. Uh, bottom of the triangle, rib cage. Let's draw it all in there. Uh, one. One, two, three, and a little bit. I drew this a bit too long. Let's do this. From here, this is where it kind of differs a bit. Where you have that crotch, I would actually draw, start drawing the hips right away. Like, almost like it's a bikini, right? Um, same thing, muscles on the side. You don't have to really draw that, unless it's like She-Hulk or something like that. Um, for this part here, I'd like to actually bend it in a little bit like that. Let's roughly draw the abs in there. One, two, belly button, three, okay. Um, for the lats, that's the side muscles right here. Not as prominent as the males for obvious reasons. Let's do something like this. And then same thing, muscles in here, up here, this is the beginning of the hip. See how it's the same thing? Where I was drawing this, this is where the hip bones are. Um, you have this side muscle next to the abs that do this. Same thing, and on the bottom of it is the hip. So right from there, you do something like this, right? I'm not liking this arm. Let's bend it upwards, bicep tricep, forearm, bone, let's do that. Neck, whatever, I'm, I'm worrying too much. And again, for the legs, I just like to check if I'm still recording. Yep. Drop this one back a bit. I'm better at drawing women's legs because it's more, um, I think it's more pronounced, it's more exaggerated than, than dude's legs. Let's 
So she's going to be kind of like walking towards us, I guess. Same thing with the feet. The ball of the toe is going to, uh, the ball of the feet are, is going to be right there. And that's going to be pointed outwards like this, similar to this here. And this one here is going to be kind of like on a tip. The ankle is going to be up here somewhere. But we're not going to worry about that. So the hips pop out a lot more, obviously. It's a female figure. And um, adductor, same thing. I don't like to draw all the muscles in the women's leg because it just it makes it look really rough. But that's essentially it. And for the chest, whoa, what was that? Um, let's get rid of all this stuff here. Really don't need that. For the chest here, actually I need the collarbone still. I like to draw a triangle. Looks like this. The reason why is because um, it helps with the cleavage later on, I find. This is something that I do. I don't know anybody else who does this, um, but I do it. So the breast starts like this. We'll just, we'll just draw two, two lines that do this, all right? That do like this. That's the top part. And then from the bottom, I would actually do this way down. And I would draw the nipples in there because it helps um it helps a lot with centering everything. It, it provides a point of reference. So I would do something like that. And see how the when I when I said the uh, the triangle shape, it helps frame where the cleavage should be. That's the way I do it anyway. I don't know. I don't know if it's anatomically correct or not, but it looks all right by me, right? So that's what I do here. Race that. Now I'm moving pretty quickly. I wouldn't necessarily move this fast. Um, when I'm starting to detail, I'm just doing this because I don't want this thing to be like a two hour long video. But it looks something like that. And I would even go in afterwards and erase all this stuff in here as well while keeping some of the detail. Like something like that, maybe a belly button. And that's it. So, somebody's coming downstairs. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, a follow would be even better. Um, suggestions in the bottom if you can. And also follow me on the Instagram, same name and everything Monster Repository. Okay, until next time, I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye.